uh, future of education will be completely ICT based. Uh, internet will be used in almost all schooling activities. Many people will be self-educating using online resources. People will be engaged more online than in a physical location to do their schooling activities. A location will not matter for teaching and learning. Uh, and today, I'm demonstrating here some of the glimpses of uh, how this ICT-based schooling system works uh, via a, a virtual learning uh, environment uh, known as VLE. Uh, I have divided these VLE activities uh, into four categories. Uh, Student-centered activities, teacher-centered activities, administrative center activities, and guardian or parent-centered activities. Let me start with student-centered activities. Uh, student learning activities I'm demonstrating here are based on Bloom's taxonomy, that is six levels of learning. Starting with the lower level, uh, which is remember, that's knowledge, uh, understand, that's comprehension, uh, apply, that's application, analysis, uh, evaluation, and synthesis, uh, that's uh, creation. Let me start with the lower level of learning, which is knowledge, such as mass the following, fill in the blanks, multiple choice questions, true and false, and so on. Uh, for the higher level of learning activities, such as you can see here, students participating in a discussion forum on a video resource, uh, reading a lesson, such as uh, you can see here, um, a chapter from grade 8 social studies, our development reasons. <clears throat> Well, uh, they can also listen to audios and uh, watch the videos uh, related to the chapters and lessons uh, if they do not want to read. Similarly, um, there are also special modules for students to do presentation, uh, such as uh, you can see here, a group presentation done by the students. And uh, they can also play different games, such as millionaire or snake and ladder do crossword puzzles and different phone and uh, game activities and uh, they can do writing activities such as essay a poem a biography travelog uh, or uh, they can do assignments project works and they can create a digital artifact and so on uh, they can take a test and exams uh, like entrance test or monthly test or midterm test or final test and so on and uh, they get their result immediately with their score feedback and rank on their computer screen and they can download and print uh, whenever they want uh, they can also share a uh, various uh, resources like uploading the materials such as ebooks uh, video and uh, audio links pictures diagrams uh, powerpoint presentations and slides uh, pdf and word files and so on uh, if they do not understand a, a particular lesson uh, they can also ask teachers by using voice portal or chat room which but they feel convenient or, or for them and uh, uh, for other higher level learning such as analysis and evaluation uh, they can participate in peer tutoring and evaluating peers works apart from discussion forum uh, they can do virtually all activities in all subjects a very good thing here is every student gets a virtual tutor uh, program software uh, who awards marks for students activities and gives immediate feedback uh, with the explanation for each activity of the student as I am demonstrating an MBBS and trans preparing students uh, one of the reports here uh, this is student well, uh, this student uh, has uh, attempted this particular task uh, five times, as you can see here, her attempts. Uh, and uh, we are looking at her uh, for second uh, attempt. And uh, uh, the score is 80% and the activity was done on 2nd. 22nd June and time taken is 6 minutes for this task. The feedback for the score is, um, I want to read it out here. Uh, your hard work is appreciated, but unfortunately, this score is not enough for a scholarship. 
As long as studying in self-finance is concerned, it depends on the universities and colleges you are applying for and the quota available in that particular university or college. Uh, therefore, we recommend you put some more effort, whether for a scholarship or self-finance. Yes, this is how it gives this, this is, uh, feedback immediately. Uh, similarly, we can uh, uh, see here this student made this question incorrect. Well, correct. Well, uh, so the reasons and explanations are given here uh, why uh, his answer is correct or incorrect. And student can uh, see his or her report on the whole year on all subjects, chapters, individual questions and activities. And uh, so they can track their progress from beginning to end. And, but uh, they are not allowed to see their peers' activities except in discussion forum and blogs. They also have a very special uh, special uh, platform here titled Feed Your Interest. In this room, uh, uh, there are hundreds of areas where students can visit any room they are interested in, such as money room, TED room, uh, science room, music room. Uh, know your country, world tour, and so on. Uh, for example, in this money room, there is a video posted every week on money education, such as uh, 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 what is money, why we need it, uh, how uh, how to earn money ethically, and uh, uh, why we need to save money, and so on. Similarly, um, let me mm, well, let me get into one of these rooms. Uh, let's get into the world tour room. In this room, there is a video posted every week of a country, such as this week, a video of Bangladesh is posted here. Uh, the title says here, Visit Bangladesh. Let's see here. Yes, uh, you can see here, students participating uh, here after watching the video. Someone says here, Bangladesh, uh, uh, Bangladesh, the Hamro Thoraija Thoraija. And other students are uh, po posting the views, so on. Well, so in a year's time students will uh, um, do a tour a virtual tour of at least 40 countries uh, so every room has been designed uh, with a purpose uh, according to students levels and understanding uh, for example this room family friends and relationship is designed with the purpose to instill the message about the uh, uh, value of relationship and human connections. Uh, this room is all about uh, socializing the students to make them a responsible person towards their uh, people, uh, their relatives, uh, friends and family members. Uh, well, uh, so all these activities are designed with a brain targeted teaching and multitask learning approaches. Uh, once the students log into the, their virtual school classrooms, they will be learning every minute. Uh, in the next part of the video, I'll demonstrate uh, the teacher activities on how to observe, monitor and control every student and operate the system, uh, such as setting up tests and homeworks and various other tasks. Uh, downloading the result of the students, uh, tracking students' performance and activities, uh, such as whether the uh, students read the materials or not, uh, how long time the student uh, spent on a particular task, uh, marking assignments and giving feedback, uh, setting up the attendance, um, uh, grouping the students and assigning different tasks to them according to their ability, uh, uh, keeping the records of students uh, classroom behavior uh, maintaining the school diary and lesson plans uh, updating the calendar events uh, uh, sending messages to students and parents uh, in a group or individually and so on uh, similarly in the part 3 of my video uh, I will demonstrate uh, how all ad admin activities can be done uh, such as staff and student attendance report uh, student admission and enrollment records, uh, staff performances, uh, holding a meeting in the boardroom, and many more. Uh, in this part of the video, I will also demonstrate how parents can see their children's performances and activities and remain in direct contact with their uh, subject teachers and principals uh, anytime from anywhere. 
uh, thank you very much for watching the video uh, if you have any queries or want to see a full feature demonstration uh, please feel free to contact me in person uh, have a good day deep within each heart there lies a magic spark that lights the fire of our imagination